Welcome to the Power Basic for Beginners YouTube channel. This channel was created to provide a series of informative tutorials for both the Power Basic console and Windows compilers. Also to allow those new to the language a view of just what can be done using Power Basic, covering everything from third-party custom grids, charting and SQL tools to practical uses for almost every command in Power Basic. Today's channel update is going to look at the GSF software website. The purpose of the website is to give you a searchable index to all the videos that I produce. When you enter the website, you will first be taken to the recently added page. This will give you a view of all the videos that have been added in the last 30 days. The first column gives you an image to indicate the topic of the video. Is it a video for both the PowerBasic console and Windows compilers? Just for the Windows compiler, or is it one for the hardware videos? This is followed by the subject and the date on which the video was published, a short description and a series of keywords. We've not changed the format of the page you're looking at at the moment, but what we have done is to extend the keywords facility. If you click on the keyword, you will be taken to the page which has a list of all the videos that have that keyword. This has all the usual links, like the link to the YouTube video itself, the link to GitHub, the length of the video, a facility to allow you to download a zip file should one be available of all the source code, and an additional icon that lets you view the primary source of the software. This opens in a separate tab on your browser. At the top of the page, we have a number of tabbed headings to allow you to go to the specific videos for that subject. For example, third-party add-ons. The major change we've made is on the By Keyword tab. This now gives you a list of all the keywords themselves which you can search out from the page. And clicking on any of those links will take you to a page that lists all the videos that have that as a keyword. This makes it much easier to find videos which are similar or on the same topic as the one you have just been looking at. Hopefully you'll find these changes to the website useful in finding videos you may be interested in. But that's it for today. Thank you for watching.